Hello and welcome to the Futures 3D video training series. My name is Jeff Christiana and this is video number three of the Replicator G34 video series on how to deal with connection issues. So in the last video we showed how to show you how to connect your Replicator G34 to your 3D printer. So we kind of went through the COM ports, how to scan a COM port, um, look for the COM port which your 3D printer was detected on, and making a successful connection. So what we're going to do here is show you what it looks like when you connect to a, an Adreno board with ramps um, assembly with no firmware just the default basic firmware. So I'm going to go ahead and connect a new set of electronics and I'm going to try to connect with Replicator G. Let's see what it does. It's going to change COM ports on us here. Every time I change out a new set of electronics it'll go up. So it should be COM port 41 for the next one. So we see it's come up. It's tried COM40 and it couldn't be found. So let's go under connection type and there's COM41. So every time I do something, and the only way to clear out your COM ports is go into your, your devices under your USB and then delete all of them. Because this will get up to the hundreds um, if I don't clear it out. So we'll go into connect to COM34 and we're going to attempt to connect. So attempting to pulse ready to send not seeing a connection so let me go ahead and exit out again go ahead and quit sometimes exiting replicator G will hang a bit on ex exit if it's having problems with its comp or let's try doing that again we'll click on that and so as you can see, we're not having any luck connecting. It's detected on COM port 41. It's trying a, uh, if you go up to machine, machine information. The profile that we've selected is using a baud rate. Let's open this up here. It's a baud rate of 115,002 for its baud rate. So the default software on Marlin Electronics and the Adreno, mainly the Adreno, the, the ramps board is just an extension for your step sticks and all your connectors to make it easy to wire to your Adreno board. So the software on the Adreno, when it ships, if you did have it connected to a 3D printer, your XYZ axes, it will basically, with power connected, it will toggle through. It'll move your X forward and backwards, your Y. So your, your X will go left to right. Your Y will go forward to backwards. Your Z will stay stationary. And then your relays will toggle. So it kind of goes through a diagnostic uh, run through, basically. Um, yeah, just going to run through a, uh, a diagnostic. And it's check, it just checks every single component on the ramps. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to disconnect this one. And we'll connect back up to a normal normal set of electronics and you can see if I was I pulled the USB cable it says serial IO exception GNU all the way through printer can be made disrupted so at this point you can try to connect but it's not probably not going to its replicator G is thoroughly confused and so let me rescan serial ports again I want to go back to COM40 because we just switched off of that Adreno board that had no firmware installed. We can try connecting again. Let's see what it does. Nope, doesn't look like it. So we're going to exit out. And we're going to relaunch.
and there we go we're back to being connected again now what I'd like to show you and I know people have run into this before this the Marlin firmware I have it set to where you cannot extrude unless you're above 170 Celsius to protect damage on the print head also the Replicator G will not connect if your thermistors are broken. So it only looks at T0 on your ramps board. T0, unless that shows a good connection to your thermistor, you will get a halt and a kill, and it will not let you connect. So if you do get, and we're going to simulate that here, I'm going to go ahead and pull T0 which is my thermistor to my hot end pulling that now and you can see instantly your machine is shut down now this is to keep you from destroying your extruder causing problems because you can't print if your thermistor is, is, is broken or damaged you don't want your head to go out of control get up to 500 degrees Celsius you don't want um, that happens so so it has a safety in the Marlin firmware to just kill it so at this point you can't do anything you cannot reconnect you can try but it'll come up and say halted and killed so if you do see this statement that is what the problem is and if you take a if, if you uh, if your connector is connected to T0 and you don't see that your you can't see that your thermistor is damaged in any way. What you can do, I just rehooked it back up again. Let's see if I do a reset here. Most of the time, you have to exit out, and come back in. I'm going to exit out Replicator G after plugging my thermistor back in, and we'll go back in. But you can take a multimeter, set the dial to 200K in your ohm section. And you can place those, place your probes right across the leads of the thermistor. You should register around 100K. It depends on the temperature of your room. I mean, if, if you're 80 degrees, if it's 60 degrees in your room, um, your shop, your garage, you know, depending on your temperature, that will read different. But it should be somewhere between like 90 to 115. Uh, K readout and that'll and that will show that your thermistor works um, or if it shows anything else you might have a short or the glass may have broken um, during being tightened down or, or during shipping <coughs> we at some point in time we're going to be moving to thermocouples thermocouples will register temperatures uh, higher than a thousand degrees Celsius the thermistor will only do about 300 Celsius without a mod board to full um, the ramps into going into higher uh, re registering higher temperatures so there's that error that you might run into another issue you might run into is if your firmware stops responding your firmware gets corrupted your firmware gets wiped something causes your firmware to mess up um, there is you know maybe uh, a connector power connector was loose and it arced a little bit you know uh, something you, you lost power to the, your house your shop you know your printer was shut down abruptly you could send a kind of surge especially like a brownout or you know, there's something that's happened that has, has sent a surge through your Adreno board and it could possibly wipe out your firmware. I have experienced this on occasion and it's really easy to fix. And in the next video, we're going to go through how to load firmware on a brand new set of electronics and also upgrade your firmware on existing set of electronics. So join us in video, th video 4 and we will cover everything you need to know so we'll see you then